what do you guys think would be the difference between the Jollibee here in the United States and the Jollibee in the Philippines? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to find out. So we're here in uh, National City here in San Diego at the Jollibee here right behind me. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to order some of the, I guess, most commonly ordered things or food uh, here at Jollibee. And then we'll try it out and I'll show you what the differences are. So this is what we ordered. So we have uh, chicken joy with spaghetti, palabo, uh, two-piece burger steak. So it has rice right there and a drink. Uh, one yum burger and a peach mango pie. So it came up to that much. So we got our drinks. So this is a this is a small, small drink. Plus you can do a refill right there. You know, basically unlimited drinks. For sizing reference, that's how big that drink is. It's small. A, it's a small, right? That's a small one. All right, so we're gonna leave this out. We have our two-piece chicken joy with spaghetti. And that's the burger steak, two burger steaks with rice. This is the yum burger. We're gonna open this up as well. There you go. And this is the palabo. There's no size. Is there a size? Okay. The gravy? Is that gravy? So you get the gravy for your chicken. And there's your peach mango. Before we eat, do you think it's going to taste the same as what you would get in the Philippines? No. Why? Well, the chicken alone, right? Well, it's a different, right? The chicken here is different. Yeah. Right? And it's probably even bigger if you want to compare. You'll probably get a smaller there piece go. over there. So, for reference, so this is my cell phone. Yeah, and then the cheese is probably different, right? And then the burger itself, like the ground beef yeah, the is meat, different the than the Philippines, be different. right? Mm -hmm. um, is this just a regular young burger? Yeah. yeah. yeah so right, then, the, let's eat. Yeah. Chicken joy. Crispiness. Chicken joy is always good. Always crispy, always juicy. You go ahead and dip it in the gravy. So in the Philippines, people actually get the gravy and pour it with yeah. the rice. I wonder if it's the same gravy that they use for the burger steak. Comment down below if you think it's the same. But the thing I, I like about Jollibee is if I compare it to something like KFC, every time I eat KFC, although it's good, it tastes like, I don't know, something off, like medicine almost. So the hot dog here is probably different from the hot dog there. Oh, good point, yeah, good point. I think they've gotten the, the, the Filipino spaghetti flavor, I mean, it's sweet, right? Most people know Filipino spaghetti is sweet, literally sweet. For us Filipinos, I guess it, it does go very well. It goes very well with the, with the chicken. All right, let's try the yum burger. I, know, I like it. It's it's just beef and uh, the beef patty, and then there's like a. It's almost like a, a Thousand Island sauce, and it's sweet. So, mm. The bun is very soft. Let's try the burger steak. At this point, I'm already full, by the way.
No, that's not sweet, by the way. It's not sweet. Burger steak is good. You'll probably compare it to um, a Salisbury steak. It's gravy. Uh, it's not sweet. So it looks like they use the same beef patty as the Yum Burger. Because it looks like a burger to me anyway. Uh -huh. We're going to try the palabo. As you can see, it's uh, thin noodles. I have a little bit of shrimp right there. And the sauce. So the, the sauce is made up of ground meat. I think that's ground pork. Um, and some ground up chicharron to give it a little crisp. Yeah, two pieces of shrimp, two pieces of sliced egg in the palabra. All right, we're actually done with the food. Which we didn't finish. I didn't finish the spaghetti, we didn't finish the... Actually, it's actually a lot. We'll move on to dessert and... I uh, just want to show you the peach mango pie. It's not... It's like... You take out the camera, that's how big it's Yeah, so just below the camera. On an iPhone 12. Let's see. This is how I remember it. Really? And by the way, guys, it's another difference. You clean up after yourself, okay? So that's it for our meal here in San Diego. Let's go check out the Philippines. I'm continuing the Jollibee uh, comparison that I started back in California and seeing what the differences are in Jollibee Philippines versus Jollibee USA. A big difference, number one, when you order your soda or Coke, this is how it comes. It's, I don't think there's any um, free refills, so this is what you get. But actually, it's, it's a nice place. Pretty nice, pretty colorful. So I basically ordered the same foods there. I'm gonna put up the picture. So I basically ordered the same amount of food and we'll see what happens. So this Jollibee is actually uh, in a mall uh, here in uh, Makati, Glorieta. So obviously another difference here in the Philippines is that we're still wearing masks. Get your tray. Thank you. Bye. So there you go. As you saw, there's a big difference in how they deliver the food. Not everybody does, right? The differences here as well is they use wooden uh, utensils. So this is the chicken and spaghetti. Sorry, they're separate because I ordered them separately. So as you can see, the difference here is that they only give a little bit of the gravy. And the, but the chicken is good size. It's unfortunately I didn't get a thigh. I got I guess a wing. So we'll try it out. See if it tastes the same. And the rice is rice is rice. Here you go. So this is original recipe, not the spicy. They also have spicy. From what I can remember, it tastes the same. And you're supposed to pair that with the spaghetti. So you know, I'm gonna have. This spaghetti. The taste is almost the same. I, I seem to remember, uh, but there are differences. I, so they do put a lot of cheese in the spaghetti, and the cheese tastes different. Maybe the it tastes a little saltier. I guess if that makes sense. Hmm. The hot dog is different. So they use a local hot dog, I guess. It's softer. It almost tastes like liver pate, like that, because it's so soft. There's no texture. I mean, there's texture. The texture is very soft. And I think the sauce is slightly sweeter as well. Let's go back to the chicken. It's a big chicken. 
I don't know if it's this, just this particular chicken that I'm having. I remember the US version being more crunchy. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the Yum Burger. The same size, if not a tad smaller. If you remember, I opened the one a couple of weeks back. It looks the same, it has that kind of Thousand Island kind of sauce to it. I know it's gonna be sweet. Yeah, burger, the same. I still can't get over the size of the drink. You know, we'll try the palabo. It looks the same. Big difference is here you get the calamansi. In the US, they give you a lemon. I don't. There's no discernible differences. Sauce is good. It has a lot of chicharron, like crushed chicharron. To tell you the truth, I prefer this over the spaghetti. But that's just me. All right, for our last, I guess, food item, um, aside from the dessert, is the burger steak. Right here. Big difference here is you only get one patty. Um, in the U.S. Uh, last week or two weeks ago, when we ordered this, the, it came with two beef patties. Let's see if it tastes the same. Looks like the patty is a little thinner as well. It's the same burger patty. As far as the flavor goes, the flavor is the same. It, it tastes really good. I actually like the combination of the gravy. Uh, has the mushrooms. So let's move on to dessert. So we have again peach mango pie, two sizes, big one, small one. So I think I did a comparison, size comparison with the phone. So that's this is my phone. So that's the pie. Hang on, sorry. And that's the big one. It should taste the same. Mm -hmm. Just to show you the small one. But this is a small one. How cute. And that's the size comparison to my phone. So here we go. What do I think? Uh, let's start with the chicken. I don't know, I was kind of disappointed with the chicken. Uh, I thought the USA uh, Chicken Joy was better, a little more crispy. The flavor was a little, you know, it's, it was a little better. This one was, although it tasted okay, I don't know, it, it, the crispiness wasn't there and I think it lacked flavor. It was, it was lacking salt, I don't know. So um, that one goes to uh, Jollibee US. Uh, spaghetti. Very different takes on spaghetti. I mean, although the, the, the flavor profile was similar, obviously the ingredients were different. Uh, like I mentioned, the hot dog was a little different. I prefer a little more firm on the hot dog, and that's what I got um, in the US. Uh, but the sauce here was, uh, I think the flavor was a little better. I mean, um, obviously it was, to me, it was obvious that it, it was a little sweeter, but the cheese that they used was different as well. Uh, maybe that kind of contributed to the different flavor, but I don't know, I prefer this one, except for the hot dog part. I prefer the flavor of spaghetti, so uh, good job, Jollibee Philippines, I guess. Um, as far as the burger steak, it tasted the same. Uh, the gravy was the same. Uh, the only thing different was that you get two patties in the US instead of one, and the patty over here seems to be a little thinner, uh, but the rice is, uh, the rice was a little bit overcooked, I prefer that's just my per personal preference but I prefer my rice a little bit more firm so but I mean it, it, it's fine really there's really no clear winner as far as you know because we're going for flavor here um, but again I'm just showing you guys the differences but which do I prefer I'll prefer the US because we get two patties 
last but not the least was the peach mango pie. Peach mango pie was def um, the, definitely the same. Uh, the flavor was the same. The only thing uh, that's different is that you get two sizes here, one large and one small. Uh, but I believe, I, I gotta go back to the video, but I think the US uh, peach mango pie is a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but taste-wise it was the same. So it's a toss up. Um, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that one uh, as much as I am full, right? Imagine eating alone, um, eating all that alone. But I, I truly, truly enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, let me know if my assessment was correct. Uh, again, this is just my opinion, right? And based on my own taste, we obviously are different. So guys, um, I'm gonna enjoy my time here. Uh, I got two more days here in the Philippines and I go back, uh, back home to the US. Uh, you know, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel yet, please do so. Um, you know, I, I try to come up with a little more unique content, uh, not just like your run-of-the-mill. Um, so watch out for more content. I don't know if I can do this comparison uh, too much with you know U.S. versus Philippines type food, but you know I'll try. So guys, thank you again for being here. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, this is John Foodie A1C. I'll see you guys again on the next video. Peace. I am out.